Uh, hello everyone. I uh, wanted to start this episode off by saying a couple things. Um, but first and foremost, welcome back to our Hearts of Iron series on uh, Ejercito Mexicano, if I'm saying that correctly, um, and Old World Blues. Uh, I wanted to say two things before we start here, guys. Uh, one, I apologize for the upload schedule. Unfortunately, uh, with this semester, I've been quite busy. Um, so the uploads will probably be less frequent overall, but I plan on, at the absolute worst case scenario, uploading um, one video every two weeks, but um, the more likely scenario will be um, one to two videos every week. Um, will be what I'll aim for, but we'll see what happens, guys. So yeah, I just wanted to let you know about that. Uh, and then next, um, maybe you could tell, maybe you couldn't, but I've gotten a new mic. Um, and uh, I think it sounds better, and I hope you guys do too. Uh, but yeah, that was all I wanted to say um, at the start. And I hope, of course, that you've all been well, and that you guys have been having a, a good, uh, a good winter, I guess. Um, you know, wherever you are. Hopefully, it's not been uh, too cold for you or anything. Yeah. Anyways, though, guys, I think we're gonna get right into it here. Um, not sure how long this episode will be. We will see. Um, Probably shorter than usual, but you never know. So I forgot exactly what we were doing last time we were here, so let's try and figure that out. Uh, we were still going down our techs. Yeah, that's right, okay. I remember now, guys. We have to deal with Tlaloc um, and his, I guess, death. So, okay. Uh, let's go ahead and get this unpaused and get this moving. Um, we have also Jeez, been training know. units, which is good. Um, we're still training up more too. We also have the Navy training. I know we have a pretty good Navy, right? Or it's okay. 16 ships. I don't know. Maybe that's not great. Maybe it's not horrible. I do know these guys have a massive fleet, if I remember correctly. Yeah, they do. It's a pretty scary one too. <clears throat> Lots of ships there. Got another dockyard, which is always awesome. Um, yeah, yeah, it's because we built one of those boats. So what should we build next? Um, well, let's say a long boat, which is the medium hull. We just finished a another medium hull. So, so they're going to have five medium ships. So let's go ahead and do one light ship and one heavy. Uh, for this, let's queue those up. Let's go ahead and do the light ship, although... Wait a second. Let's go ahead and see if um, it has any upgrades. I don't think it does, but we can just look. It's been a while since I've played, so I just want to make sure. Oh, it does already. That's good. But yeah, I just want to make sure that... Uh, yeah, there we go. So we're building the best stuff we can. Okay, looks good. There's that. And then the big boat... We don't have anything that goes in there yet. Get these. Uh, do string telephone. Long range optics. And get a better hull. Okay, there you go. Cool. So let's go ahead and get these out here. Or get them constructing, I guess. And then we'll also line up a heavy ship. Have those all build. There we go. We are also building up a little fleet of aircraft, which is nice. And we're currently building a mill, too. Texan Brotherhood declared war on Desperados. Um, okay. We well, only have like two crossings in. It's kind of rough. We've made a lot of allies over here. Um, the Alamo chapter is still expanding. Okay, guys. Let's go ahead and just keep letting... Uh, Time passed by and you know, see what happens, pretty much. 
the Pursuant, which is Annex. Um, which does suck, because it means now we have the Alamo chapter on our border. And they are decently strong, I think. Um, I don't think there's someone you really want to mess with. So, we'll keep that in mind. Um, got smoke signals, which is good. No longer get the effects from stolen schematics. Which is probably a good thing. <clears throat> what should we what should we go into next guys um we should always have yeah we already have one going in the navy we could have that's uh, still ahead of time all of this is pretty far too all you could do is motorized flight and uh, you could also i didn't even yeah realize this was a thing yeah, we should be doing these too definitely and we're definitely going to go down automated warfare so let's do this. Let's spend the 25 experience. Start going down there. That makes sense, I think. Get those bonuses, um, which is going to be org for the robots, the CNC robots, um, and the frontline robots are going to get soft attack, hard attack, and org. So yeah, it's good. Stormmongers were annexed. Firme! Avancen! Si, senor! We got superior mechanization. Which is good. It gives us industry and electronics bonuses. And um, we're kind of just taking these because we're waiting for June 1st. And then we will swap over. Uh, maybe, maybe mechanical triumph now. Um, or we could do these. Well, these do give you lots of stuff. Add two naval bases, naval dockyards. Yeah, these are our, these are pretty good. Hmm. I don't know, but I want to get. Yeah, we'll go down here. Let's see. Let's do an airport would be great, but uh. Let's do La Pesca land acquisition, maybe. Yeah, I'm really not sure, guys. Um, yeah, sure. Let's do La Pesca land acquisition. Have that going. Oh, wow, yeah, we have doctrines, too. Should have probably thought about that. Production. It's good. I'm gonna start going down each of these now, probably. So let's start with up here. Well, let's start with the basic generator. Um. Yeah. Okay. We are still training for one more unit. Let's go ahead and throw one more out there too. Training at least. We do these light robot battalions, which we could maybe try and put into use. Um, our heavy robots aren't even very cool, so. Hmm. I don't know, we'll have to redo the templates once we get a little more equipment. So, actually, I'm going to delete that just now. Let's go and get the resistor, that's more research speed. Really great. Um, 
Uh, let's start doing these for some decryption. Uh, the flawed pariah. Eastern Umbra declared war on Umbra. Flawed Parish declared war on Dam Busters. So okay. Um. Again, I don't know what happens when Slalock uh, dies, but I guess we will see, won't we? Yeah, right now we're just chilling. I'm letting things move along. Training up a navy. Um, and a ground force. Which is good. Focus will be done in about 20 days, roughly. Uh, so until then, we'll be sitting here training and improving our strength and all that. Well, you know what? Actually, we will do one more because we need 20 units anyways. So yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. And then after we do that, we're going to start stocking some uh, units. Jill's army declared war on Eden. Modify the government. Which we'll probably go ahead and do. Probably the industry the industry subroutine. Give us some more of that build speed. That storage containers, whatever those do for us. Um, Try and go after some of these other stuff, I guess. Um. Not sure what to do here guys what should I research um don't know do not know um let's just do the let's do the Scorpio sure sounds good to me uh, we have this guy now, he can merge into there. And I'm gonna have 19 ships. Which is gonna be good. Let the reference manual finish. So we're going after the decode signals. We just want this so we can know at least something maybe about our enemies a little bit. Um, there's another unit. Let's go put him in. And let's go ahead and move him to there. He'll be training um, too, which will be good for him. And then we'll have him uh, with this one last guy train uh, and deploy. We got the La Pesca acquis uh, acquisition, which means now we can do Reckless Anger. Um, so, <laughs> this is the fault of the fucking gringos who built Tlaloc. They've done nothing but harm my country and family since the 19th century. They take land with their armies, our resources with their treaties, and our hopes with their culture. And now they take my father. Okay, here we are. Reckless Anger. Um, we do have more dockyards available. Um, 
Let's go and put that medium boat in. And let's see. So it means they have five medium ships, ten light ships, and five heavy ships. Um, so you know what? Let's go ahead and just start building a lot of light ships. Uh, let's build like... I'm thinking like a really high number. Um, let's see. So yeah, the canoe. Did we get anything we could help them with? I actually can't remember if we... Well, we research those storage things, but I don't think they go on this, do they? Do they go on anything we have yet? Like here? No. So I guess nothing we have yet can use those, maybe? Anyways, um, so let's go and get the canoe out here. And let's have them build like... Well, let's see, they're gonna have one more heavy ship. Uh, so they have six heavies and five mediums. So let's build... Um, like six of these, sure. Sounds good to me. Yeah, okay, we'll start pumping those out. Should be good for us. kind of moving our guys around just as we see fit they're not really in a combat position or anything right now but uh, they don't need to be uh, I'm not sure when war will come but uh, hopefully when it does we're somewhat ready we almost have all the robots these guys need um, wrathful thoughts reckless anger um, they are doing this to him his sons I will destroy them all my armies will burn mock Tezuma's empire to the ground and slaughter these soldiers he is so proud of Destroy Maximilian's dream before his very eyes and split and spit on the remains. Got every single one of Zapta's beloved citizens like pigs and make sure they scream to the heavens at the top of their lungs, crying out for their savior. When it is done, I will erase every single evidence of their pathetic existence. They shall all burn, burn in hell for what they have done to father. Gather my forces, let none stand before me. Um, this is our first buff we've got from um, all these events, so research speed. It's good. Um, so I guess we're, we're not a big fan of these other guys then, <laughs> is what I'm getting from this. Um, or the other uh, Tlaloc children or whatever. Uh, I'm trying to find which one is... Um, Uh, Moctezuma. I'm not sure, but anyways. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and continue on. Yeah. Let's go and select a new focus. Um, the Tampico land acquisition, probably. So let's do that. And then get this going. Uh, very cool that they have their own models and everything. The robots and uh, the other units as well. I think like I think um, ghouls and uh, super mutants have their own too, but maybe I'm wrong. I know power armor does. Like you can say like, rangers and these robots. And it's pretty cool. Anyway, so here we have basic generators. Uh, let's start going into. Well, I don't want to use my industrial research bonus on these. I don't think maybe I already did use one, but whatever. <laughs> Um, let's go to construction speed. Yeah, let's probably, or maybe, I don't know. Let's see. Hmm. What should we do? Um, dedicated workshops, maybe. I'm not sure. I'm not sure, guys. Maybe we'll just keep using our bonus here. I guess it's okay. Yeah, I guess I don't. I don't really care. Just go to the water pumps. That'll be fine. Yeah, but it's gonna have the railways or <laughs> highways is pretty cool too. Um, Texan Brotherhood took two states. The Desperados were annexed. So they're 
doing something over here. The thing is, because they have so many allies, I don't think they'll ever be able to unite Texas. Um, the Siege of Hidden Valley. Uh, okay. I don't think anything too crazy is going on there. It says I have planes to deploy or whatever, but I don't think I even have a single air base in my territory, so we're not going to be deploying any planes anytime soon. Um, that's for sure. Uh, there we have decode signals. Great stuff. Um, let's go ahead and go into encoded signals. Yeah, after just getting those two texts, um, we already know a lot more than we used to, at least. Which is good. Very good. Okay, the ships are training up real nice. Looking good. I have them on high repair priority, but they uh, don't even seem to care. Let's put on automatic split off right now, and maybe then they'll go repair. I'm not sure. Anyways. Hopefully, I mean, right now we're, we're not really doing anything, but um, hopefully we'll be able to unite all of Mexico eventually. All of this. Um, it's going to be quite hard to do so. And if you want all of Mexico that, like, they used to have, you have to go, like, really far up here. You know, we got to take, like, all of this. But that's not the plan. I just want Mexico's borders, like, uh, uh, probably like this. Anyways, we'll see. Um... The Nebraskan Confederation declared war on the Dam Busters. The Dam Busters have been um, in a lot of war recently. Zapatan, Comunique, uh, Comrade in Arms, you've seen it too, haven't you? The return of the Yankee Rebels at the Alamo. I couldn't believe it either to think this far into the future and they were hiding all this time. It's crazy, isn't it? Surely this is the work of vile capitalism. American dogs trying to bring back your worst enemy to spite you. Could, could it really be Davy Crockett? Um, that's interesting. You know, I'm my own, I'm my own battle. We've been accelerating Cloudlock's demise a lot, um, recently. But maybe I shouldn't do that. So that's what I'm going to stop doing. Anyways, we got a free sieve, which is awesome. Um, I would like to just build one air base so we can deploy our planes. I just don't know. You probably want one up north and one south. That's a lot of building, though. Um, but it won't take that long to build two air bases. Yeah, we're going to build two air bases. And then we're going to build another sieve. Just so we can at least deploy our planes in the north or the south and use them. To have another canoe built. Which will be nice. Got the Scorpio in. Um, can you instantly go to the 37mm deck gun? Um, which I feel like would be a lot better than a Scorpio. Um, I can go after the grappling harpoon. And uh, now let's go ahead and go after vacuum tubes here. Brush that one. Why not? Oh uh, yeah, with that, I wonder with that uh ballista we researched if we can do anything with it. I would be personally surprised if we do. Let's see. 
Um, oh, you can do yeah, so you can be a storage module. I don't know how that affects the ship. Gives you more range, less supply use, less manpower, more reliability. It's not really that good. Uh, kind of gives you more range. Okay. Uh, but yeah, okay, so now you can do a Scorpio. Uh, instead of the mounted weapon, which is better. So yeah, we want to do this. Um, and somehow you can fit two Scorpios on a canoe. So yeah, let's do that. <laughs> Um, but okay, guys, I think that's it there. So we are going to want to start building those better canoes. We got the Tampico land acquisition. We could go to war with someone. Oh, I didn't see that. Okay, so by accepting with him, you can get war goals. Um... Uh, on these other people. So if I would have known that, I actually probably would have uh, told him it was my fight. See, that's actually a mistake I made, guys. My bad. Because um, now we lost a, a war goal we could have had on the Alamo chapter. So, yeah, that is unfortunate. I just didn't know. I did not know. Uh, we do have at least claims on the remnants of Petro Chico's corpse. Core territory. So where are they at? Oh, here. So these guys I could go to war with, but I think he's one of Tlaloc's kids. I am much stronger than him though, I think. Um, I don't know, I'm just gonna keep building up, just cause again, I don't really know what's gonna happen when he dies. I don't really know, <laughs> well, yeah, I don't know. Um, anyways, let's go ahead and move down the, uh, let's move down this one. So we're going to get another mill off of this. In fact, we have a free mill, which is really good. Put that into building more of these heavy guys. Let's put two more in there. Put one more there. One more there. One more there. So have that all set up. Now let's go ahead and throw out the new canoes that we made, right? With the blisters. Yep. Throw them out. And I think I want to make five of these, right? I'm not sure, whatever, it doesn't really matter if we're not precise. It doesn't really affect much. Um, yeah, okay. That's fine. So we'll have a whole building, which is exciting. Uh, yeah, we definitely uh, missed out on that war goal on the Alamo chapter, guys. Unfortunate. I wish I would have known. Although, I guess there must be some advantage then to Tlaloc dying later. I'm not sure what it would be. But there must be some type of advantage. Um, like, maybe you don't want him to die before you can do these, right? Like, you want to accept it, I guess? Is that what it is? I'm not sure. Anyways. Um, I guess we will find out together, guys. Right now we're doing, I think, some pretty good build-up here. We're building up our unit numbers, building up our navy numbers, and our air force. And as well as our just stockpile of whatever we have. <laughs> um, yeah. Should start building a lot of these robot guys. We're already building, like, one and a half a day. So that's good. New California Republic just annexed the rapids. Um, we got basic well pumps. So now we have to go after the smeltery. Okay. Um. Yeah. this is looking good. We're moving, guys. Making progress. Slow but surely. Making our way through the world. Uh, we're waiting until March 1st until we can do desperate bargaining. Um. <laughs> uh, 
Like in any of Anna's depression. Texan Brotherhood declared war on the Gator Moss. Um, I remember this can be a tough war because you only have this one place uh, and then this. And if you declare war on them before you capture whoever these guys were, um, you only have this and it's really bad. Um, because yeah, I once played as the Texan Brotherhood. Uh, I definitely know that. I wonder what Lone Star is up to. Maybe Lone Star is pretty cool. Who knows? Uh, the capture of the Warren. Okay. So. Uh, it says we're fairly outdated equipment. It's just the boat. So don't worry about that, guys. That'll be done on the 4th of October. Human targeting firmware. <laughs> now let's go to dynamic tactics integration. It's been 25. Okay, um, I think we are doing good stuff, guys. Making it. through this um, now I do have what's Tlaloc stagnation oh, okay um, Gloria Mexicana um, yeah we have a hundred now let's see what do we want to spend it on our hundred here Chico Air, maybe. Could be kind of cool. Pause real quick. Uh, that unit we were training got done. I think I want to do the aggressive focus. Yeah, let's start doing these. Why not? We don't have a chief of navy, sadly. But yeah, we'll do this aerial focus next. I think that'll make sense. Um, let's go ahead and put this guy in the army. Let's see if there's anywhere I want him to like specifically stand. He can stand on this port over here. Just cause, why not? Um, and then... Okay. Yeah. okay. Cool. Now let's have him start training. So that'll mean we have a full 20 divisions, which are all, you know, robots. Uh, there we go, we got the land acquisition there. Let's go to the, another land acquisition here for more mills. And more building slots, I guess. Although it's not like we even have the <laughs> economy to really construct anything. Um, it's going really slow. We did finish those airfields, though. One in the north and one in the south. Um, let's go ahead and deploy these 20 planes. Oh, they have a much better range than I expected. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to train them yet. I think I might just leave them as B for now. Yeah, let's just have them deployed. Why not? The only ones who, uh, if they attacked me, I would be really scared would be Tlaloc himself or... Um, Maybe the real, yeah, the real Grande. So the real Grande or Tlaloc would be really bad. Uh, the Alamo chapter I could probably deal with, and Petro Chico I could almost certainly deal with. So that's something we should keep in mind. Um, let's go after the Ram next. I'm not, I'm just kind of moving slowly through these naval techs. Yeah, we're about to be able to get new ships, which I should instantly rush the cutter at least. These other ones are centuries ahead of time <laughs> they're just so far ahead of time eight years ahead of time jeez okay um yeah i don't know actually how long a fallout game is supposed to last for like uh what year to what year i don't know but uh, i guess we'll find out guys as we 
we'll find out. Let's go ahead and put that big ship and that canoe in there. Which means now we should be building the new canoe with the ballista on it now. We have five of them. Um, which is awesome. We're gonna get two we need two mills to fill this up and we're gonna get two mills. That's great. Yeah. We'll have one more on the CNC bots and one more on the planes. We are now producing one and a half of these guys a day. It'll only keep going up too, so that's great. Arroyo declared war on whose land? It's kind of a funny name. Um, but okay. Our son annexed the Highland Watch. up another canoe. Traders from the Southern Empires. Um, I'm not going to read all of this, but let's see. So, we do have a lot of bottle caps. Santa Ana gains expert negotiator. Um, yeah, it'll give us a... Yeah, why not? That'll give us a... It's not really that important. Trade deal opinion factor, but it's a permanent buff. Uh, and why not? We, we have money. Let's throw it around. So yeah, now we have Expert Negotiator. Why not? Just cause. Just cause. Um, yeah, I don't think we trade with anyone. I wonder if anyone gets our stuff. I'm not sure. Let's see. Trade. We export? Yeah, we don't export anything, do we? Oh, we do. We export water. Yeah, we export a lot of stuff, yeah. We're a big exporter. Definitely. We import some stuff, too, which we don't need to. So let's stop that. From Tlaloc. Yeah, let's stop that. Um, basic smeltery, great. Um, let's instantly throw this into dedicated workshops. guys um the silix nation declared war on camlo survivalists okay um well I'm probably going to have to end the episode soon I kind of like to get to March to do the desperate bargaining, but I don't know if that's going to happen. There we always got more mills and I think some you know, building slots. And now I guess we want to go down to the dockyard expansion, I think. So. Yeah, let's go down the dockyard expansion one. Start getting that moving. like the preferred tactic. Well, it doesn't have any, I don't think. Um, yeah, I think I already gave all these Pistol. out, I do believe. Yeah, but yeah that's one thing. Santa Ana is great at naval invasion, right? Yeah. Does have Aqua Boy. So yeah, we should maybe try and do that as well, naval invasions. And we have bonuses for it. The Man of Destiny has a lot of bonuses for naval invasion stuff. So, I should maybe, you know, look into that. Uh, we do need more units, though, for that. Um, you, you know, you could think that maybe some actual infantry, like men, would be good, and that might be true, but I don't want to have to produce all that extra equipment for them, so... You know, I'm just thinking we're going to stick to robots. Um... Let's try and make this light robot battalion a little bigger. Um, yeah, 
we'll go ahead and just leave them like that. Save. And let's see if we can't like train up. I don't know, just a couple of these guys. Um, I know we're gonna get low pretty quick, but that's okay. Let's see if we can't train up ten of these guys, or you know what, even twelve of these guys, and then let's do eight of these guys. A transmission from Dad. Today, the anniversary of my inception, I received a transmission from Tlaloc, or Dad. As he's insisted, I start calling him. The most uh, noticeable aspect of this letter is that it wasn't tied up in normal Chico Net corporate jargon that meant it must have been both gr of great importance and weighted and weighed greatly on Father's already aging and decrepit processors. It read as such, Son, I am sorry that I have not been more present since your creation, but in these recent months, you've taken to my advice and teachings better than I could have ever expected. Predictions indicate that you will be better than I ever was and that I can finally trust you to wield the power that destroyed our world. Happy birthday, son. I am so proud of you. Um, so we become the owner and controller of the great silo, and it becomes a core... Uh, Tlaloc no longer owns it, and we own a nuke. Uh, we get the key to his Armageddon station. Thanks, Dad. I love you. How sweet. Um, okay. So, yeah, we got, we got this. The Great Silo. We took it out of uh, his hand. I don't know if um, anyone else got anything. Um, yeah, we got the Great Silo, which is another core with some good resources in it. Um, or at least it should be a core soon, maybe. We'll see. <laughs> uh, if not, I guess I'll have to garrison it, which will be, you know, fine. Um, I don't know if we even make the equipment for the garrisons, though. But, uh, yeah, so now we have a nuke, right? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what that means. Um, like, does that mean we can end the world or what? Um, that's one thing I kind of want to do is play TNO, because, um, you know, you can do a lot of cool stuff in there. Uh, let's go and put three factories on the gliders, and then once that's done, I think we're pretty good there. Let's go ahead and shove two more factories here. Yeah, three actually. There we go. Um, construction. We're constructing a sieve, uh, and then you know, we'll go and do a mill there, and we'll build another sieve. I'm not sure. I think that's fine. But yeah, is this a core yet? It is a core. There we go. Great. Great stuff. So we're getting the benefits from that. Great silo. We have just researched the naval ram. We'll start going into the cutter, I think. Yeah. So let's start going into the cutter so we can start getting these guys out. Um, we might need sails, maybe. Sail navigation. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but yeah. We should also... Probably next time something gets researched, make sure we're not behind on robot tech. I don't think we are. I think we have a long, yeah, a long time to go before that happens. Yeah, a very long time. We have like two years before we even have to start researching robots because we're pretty far ahead, which is good. Um, yeah, it's good. Uh, vacuum tubes. That's good. Probably go after primitive radio now. Not really sure what a primitive radio would be. Um, like with a telegram? <laughs> I'm not really sure uh, what a primitive radio would be, but anyways, um, here we are. Um, we did do a little bit of expansion <laughs> uh, for our birthday. It was a birthday present from our father, Tlaloc. How nice. Um, yeah. Uh, we are about to have this dockyard renovation, um, and then I might end the episode pretty soon here. Um, again, I really did want to reach desperate bargaining, but I don't know if that's going to happen. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah. Um, I don't know. Um, yeah, we'll just we'll go ahead and do this other focus, uh, and by then we'll be pretty close to maybe only big a month left. So I think it'll be fine. We'll get there. We'll get there. Oh yeah, for that we got 
two dockyards and two naval bases, which does mean we have three dockyards. Um, let's go ahead and build a. Oh, what are we? Oh, what are we missing? Where are those two light ships join, which means they have fifteen light ships, five mediums, six heavies. Um, I mean, more light ships is good, honestly. For now, I'm just going to put it into convoys. Um, yeah, just put in convoys. Maybe that's cool. Now we own the Great Silo. I don't know, I don't know if we can maybe launch a nuke from it or, <laughs> or something. Um, but that would be cool if so. We're right on the edge of Tlaloc's Lair. Thirty-three planes out of fifty. So yeah, we're starting to produce them a little faster. I did give them those three, you know, factories. So yeah, hopefully we start getting a little more out there. I guess. Um, I'm. I want to build these canoes until we research the new cutter. Um, so let's hope I can do that. It's going to take 40 days for the cutter research. Let's have them build one more canoe. Maybe that'll buy me the 40 days I need. Uh, we do have this, which means I think now we're going to the Chief of Air Force, Aerial Focus, and now that gives a minus 50% air accident, so I'm going to start training the air. Um, since hopefully they shouldn't take too many casualties um, yeah you would hope at least and even if they take a couple it's not too bad not really the end of the world um, yeah, we are training up a pretty crazy amount of troops it does mean we're in insane deficits of everything uh, yeah <laughs> okay um, the light robot is an extreme problem too. We're having a massive difficulty with that. We're trying to put more factories into it though. So let's really focus it. Make sure we get those factories in there. Uh, we got four off-map arms workshops. Sapta stops being a commander. Brother, it looks like father is going to s sleep soon. Very shortly I'll be able to join you in the waking world. No longer having to communicate through this firewall, I will be my own man. I wanted to thank you for helping me get to where I will be today, since I know when I wake up, we might not see eye to eye. Please take it. Hold on to it during the upcoming struggles and battles we will surely partake in. Two men fighting over the fate of Mexico. Won't it be grand? I look forward to our battle, brother. Okay. Atención. Well, I guess that's something to look at. Um... But, uh, that did give us four mills, I think, right? Four off-map mills. So, yeah, that actually is going to really help with the robot problem at the very least, uh, which is good. At the very minimum, the robot issue will get better. Uh, the followers of the apocalypse. Um, I never know what to do with these guys. I don't know. Um, we probably don't want them, right? Let's see. Let's, let's see. Um... Group of humanitarian pacifists. Okay, so yeah, no, these are the guys. They give you, I think, a lot of uh, like tech bonuses and things, but uh, they're not really a fan of war. Um, I probably do want to kick them out. Yeah, let's just kick them out. I think it'll be easier that way. Um, raid follower supplies, sure. Seize a follower's fort, sure. And then we'll have to also uh, try diverting uh, the follower supplies in a little bit. So that'll be exciting, I guess. Dynamic 
uh, dynamic tactics integration. Uh, so this is cool. Uh, we have quantity and quality, and you have like a middle one, I guess, right? Uh, we'll walk us out. Yeah, okay. So, I'd probably want quality. Most likely would be good, I think. Um, what's up with the middle, I wonder? It just cuts you off from the rest of the tree. I wonder how that works. Taking this doctrine will lock us out from swapping... Wait, taking this doctrine will lock us out from swapping to another kind of doctrine in the future. What does that even mean? Uh, robotic commander proxies. I don't really know what that means, but okay. Um, let's just go into uh, quality. It looks like here, you know, you're getting lots of bonuses, like reliability, factory output, things like that. Here, you're getting hard stat bonuses. So yeah, let's go into let's go into this. I think this will be good. Um, field maintenance. And yeah, let's probably spend the 25 to do that. Uh, we can also go ahead and throw in these canoes into that fleet, which is great. Um, let's see. Yeah, the canoe will give us enough time, I think, to research the cutter, which is awesome. Uh, what else are we doing? Screw yeah, deployment. Let's see, how bad is this still? Um, still pretty bad, but we did shave off 400 days. Um, we'll get it fixed, guys. We will get it fixed. In time. And of course, if we ever need those units really fast, then we'll just uh, delete these guys who are trying to deploy. So, yeah. Republic of Rio Grande took six states, which is not good for us. Rio Grande looks really scary right now. I'm like super scared. So. We have the Tampico Airport uh, renovations. Um, next, we need to do a railway construction or mandatory service. They're not mutually exclusive. Um, Older brother. Uh, we can get more. Things are going on. Yeah, I don't know. What should we do? What should we do? Uh, I almost wanted to do mechanical triumph. Um, yeah, let's do mechanical triumph. Free fighters declare war on the Beltran Leve Cartel. Hmm. Well, there's the dockyards, which doesn't mean that finished up. How close is our tech? Three days, so yeah, that works. Let's go ahead and uh, just start building cutters after this. Uh, and then once we take um, that demise focus, we're going to go ahead and end the episode once we finish it. Um, cutter hull, awesome. Uh, let's start going out sails. So we can maybe start building like actually good cutters because right now it's going to be cutter cutters with paddles. Uh, you can put the ram on there, I guess. Um, Tank with my scorpion. Telephone. Uh, Spec Ops Team. Gives you a lot more light attack and heavy attack, but you lose a lot of HP. Also takes more manpower, too. Surface visibility also goes up. Surface detection goes down. Um, no, this is fine. Okay, this looks good. 
I think. Cutter Mark 1. Sure. Let's go ahead and start uh, having those come out there. Yeah, for now, I guess we'll have them just build that infinitely for now. Yeah, I think that's fine. They can start doing that. Uh, yeah, we want to divert the follower supplies, probably. Minus 5% stability, unfortunately. So yeah, let's divert the follower supplies. Once we finish up with mechanical uh, mechanical triumph, we will hopefully go into uh, uh, desperate bargaining. So, yeah, or maybe even let's see how many days are we in? Thirteen it means we'll only lose three days. So actually, I'm just gonna stop. It means we did lose three days. So unfortunate, but uh, let's just do that because that'll instantly finish it. So that's good. And then we can end the episode here. Um, desperate bargaining, father or sacrifice, father. Please, I beg you, let me help you. Surely this isn't your fate. Surely there's something I can do. Your sons have taken so much from you. You need to take what's rightfully yours back. They are killing you, father. At least take my own mainframe, mine. Those those of the one son that you used more than any other. But you are too kind and caring to do such a thing, aren't you? Then let me do something, anything. There must be an answer. Pre-war computers, yes, that would be able to bring you back. They must be able to. After all, this can't be how it ends. Uh, tear the wasteland apart, damn the cost. I won't let it end like this. The death of the father... A lot more loss of stability and more support, but a gain in research speed. Um, so stability and more support are just dropping and dropping. Uh, let's put this back in mechanical triumph. Uh, we can see yeah, the death of that father one is definitely getting crazy. And then we'll do Anna's depression in January. Uh, but that, I think, is a good place for me to end up guys. Um, so I think this is where I will end it. Uh, the next ship that we have done will be our first non-little canoe, which will be cool. Um, Militarized society. Uh, but yeah, I guess we will end it there, guys. I don't think there's anything else I need to do right now. So yeah, uh, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed. Um... And as always, guys, I definitely hope to see you guys in the next one. I hope you guys enjoy the new mic. Let me know what you think of it, whether you think it's uh, worse, better, whatever it may be. Um, I also uh, would love to hear your guys' thoughts, opinions, questions, comments, whatever it may be, uh, down below if you have anything to say. I always enjoy responding to you guys, seeing what you guys are up to. Uh, but anyways, uh, again, I apologize for the lack of uploads. It'll probably still be rough um, for the long foreseeable future, but I'll try my best to bring you guys uh, what I can. I thank you so much for watching, and I hope that you guys enjoyed. I hope that you guys are doing well, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Um, as always, guys, peace.